Hi, I'm Van Helker of Waterline Boats and Boatshed Port Townsend. Today I'll be walking you through a 30-foot custom steel trawler. This trawler was built in 1986 by shipwright Jim Enoch in retirement. She has served as a capable platform for her current owner to fish from and dive from in the Strait of Juan de Puca for the last 28 years. Shown here is a heated cockpit shower for warming up after diving. Another key feature I like about the cockpit is the enclosure. It can be removed or rolled up on sunny days or in inclement weather you have a dry weather proof space. The cabin is accessed from the cockpit through this companionway door. The cabin contains a settee to port and a helm station to starboard. This is a really comfortable usable space. The settee converts into a double berth, so you can seat four people here, or sleep two. We have a good amount of storage space located behind the helm station in this cabinetry. Shown here are three drawers and a larger cabinet beneath for storing items. This overhead hatch opens to provide airflow into the cabin. The helm station is well equipped with electronics. We have a chart plotter, radar, GPS, compass, autopilot. The helm seat's very comfortable. The chain steering on this boat makes for a simple, reliable system, and there are two turns lock to lock on the helm. The forward cabin is located just a couple steps down from the helm station. The galley is equipped with a two burner propane stove, fold up cutting board, sink, toaster oven, refrigerator freezer, and a good amount of storage. Uh, we have cabinetry uh, for storing dry goods, shelves. The master berth is located just aft of the galley. Because this berth is tucked under the saloon, it is possible to fit a queen-size berth aboard this 30-foot boat. Many boats I see of this size have a smaller master berth or just a V-berth for sleeping, and this feature contributes to this vessel being a great live-aboard opportunity. The head compartment contains a manual Jabsco marine toilet, and just aft of this space is a hanging locker which contains access to the back side of the helm console for accessing electronics, and the top of the holding tank and the holding tank pump out. Access to the engine compartment is through this hatch in the deck. It's a useful space for storing items, also accessing tanks. That's a water tank pictured to right. We have a separate port and starboard fuel tank, uh, house bank, engine start bank for batteries. The house bank consists of four six-volt golf cart batteries. The engine start battery is an automotive battery. And here's the engine. The engine is the original 1986 Nissan LD50 with only 1,655 hours. This engine is located within a sound enclosure in the forward part of the engine room and provides for efficient cruising. Welded steel railings provide a good handhold while using the side decks to access the foredeck where the windlass is located. If desired, there's an exceptional amount of space on the wheelhouse roof and on the hardtop over the cockpit for mounting solar panels. And next, the owner will demonstrate the engine starting. He reports that the engine hadn't been run for a couple weeks prior to starting it cold in this video. Way outside of Port Angeles, I was impressed with how comfortably this 20,000 pound trawler handled the chop and wakes that we encountered. If you would like more information or would like to make an offer on this 30 foot custom steel trawler, please reach out to Van Helker. My email is van at waterlineboats.com.